Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. This one's a little bit delayed. I really wanted to cook this a couple of days ago, but I was just too tired. So here I am. We are cooking raspberry crumble slice. The sweet tooth is calling. Here's what we need. Come on in and I'll show you the ingredients and then I'll talk you through the steps. Okay, so first up, oven on 180 or 160 fan forced. I treat mine like fan forced, so mine's on 160. We also need a bowl and a sieve. It actually doesn't say to sift the flour. Anyway, that is what I'm going to do. I do like to sift the flour, so grab a bowl and a sieve. You want a... 16 by 26 centimeter they're about baking pan um, I'm just going to use my slice pan I'll faithful grease it with margarine or butter and then line it with baking paper you'll also need handy pink spatula and or equivalent and the ingredients are as follows one and a half cups of plain flour quarter of a cup of self-raising flour Two cups of rolled oats. Do not be tempted to use your quick cooking oats. You want those grainy ones. One and a quarter cups of brown sugar. 250 grams of butter melted. Now for you that are just starting, 250 grams is actually the equivalent of what they would call one stick of butter. So there's no need to weigh it. You just quite simply buy one 250 gram of butter, pop it in glass preferably because then you don't feel like you're washing it forever and give it a melt. That melted for 30 and 20, so not quite a minute. Half a cup of raspberry jam and two tablespoons of flaked almonds. Okay, and it's really easy and it's really awesome i have um childhood memories of slices with jam in the middle and um this one i thought is going to be a nice one as well because i, I do have a sweet tooth and my sweet tooth has been calling the last few days so i'm going to feed the sweet tooth all right so our bowl with our sieve so quite simply all we're going to do is place both flowers in so that's our one and a half cups of plain flour, our quarter of a cup of self-raising flour. Now, as I say, it doesn't say to sift it, which is quite surprising because normally any other time I've always got to sift flour. Oh yeah, I'm back to the white bowl, I apologize. White in white never looks good on camera, does it? Well, at least you can see it going through the silver. All right. Whatever doesn't sieve, push it through and then just give it a smack. Not too hard though. We want to keep that sieve. All right. Also, we are adding the sugar, which is the brown sugar, one and a quarter cups, and the two cups of rolled oats, aka porridge. Okay. Give those a mix. Now, before we add the butter, I like to make a bit of a well. A well is basically you just move the dry ingredients around so you've got a bit of a hollow in the middle. Pop in some of the butter. Really all of it, but we'll just start a bit at a time. Come on in. There you go. You can see the yellow. That is the butter. And just start mixing it. All right. Chuck in a bit more. All righty. I didn't quite melt all of it. Can't win. I either over melt it or I under melt it. Just keep going. So this will make a good afternoon tea, a snack, a dessert. 
whatever, whatever you fancy. But anything with jam in it I love. All right, you really want to mix that in well. You don't want to see any white. White is obviously indicating flour and means it's not mixed. So once you've mixed it, we're going to press it into the pan, but not all of it though. Only two thirds of a cup or two thirds of it, sorry, not two thirds of a cup. Alright, we're ready. Tend to don't stress if you don't mix it all through. The reason being is because we can actually try and mix it as we go. So bring over your slice pan. Now two thirds obviously is most of it, okay? So just to give you an idea you're not going to have much left in there obviously you'll only have a third left so what I would do is um, get clean hands and just go like this and basically that will just ensure that we're all mixed in because otherwise all that's going to happen is when we go to tip it in we're just going to have dry bits everywhere okay so go like this and then we go a little bit more and a little bit more so that's about a third so if you sort of mark it out into the into three in the bowl and then obviously just leave one of those three that's the best way to do it there's no need to measure it Okay, now just press it down. For a smoother finish, you can actually get the back of a drinking glass and just press it down. But I'm just going to use my hands for today. Okay, so this is going in for 15 minutes. Okay, in that oven that we've already got preheating, 15 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, so when the buzzer goes uh, for the 15 minutes, out of the oven, and here's what we need to do. We're going to grab that raspberry jam, spread it over. Well, it says to spoon it over, but whatever's easiest. go I find it easier to just grab a knife and just spread it as you go and a knife like this this is called a palette knife this is very good for when you do your frosting on your cakes because it's flexible just spread that on spread it all about Beautiful. All right. Then what we need to do is grab the rest of the crumble mix, which is here. In go the flaked almonds. Give it a quick mix with handy pink spatula or equivalent of. And then all you need to do is literally grab it with your hands 
clean hands and just snow it over the top, crumble it like so. It's going to go back in the oven for another 15 minutes and then we are go or until golden allow to cool completely before you cut it up sorry that's the downside to it can't eat it straight away a bit cruel that's just so that the jam will stop being so hot everything will set and it will all be awesome so you can just spread it like that all right 15 minutes i'll see you then and there we have it delicious looking raspberry crumble slice this has been cooking with violet vixen i hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you have uh hit subscribe and then that way you won't miss an episode i'll catch you on the next adventure very soon bye